Good afternoon, fellow scraptologists. <coughs> it's spring. No, it just feels like it. Hey, buddy. What you doing? <laughs> you want to cause trouble, don't you? You're staying on that chain for a little bit. Yeah, we, uh, the truck's at the shop in town there. Took it and leave it there. Got my buddy to drive me home last night. We got a new, uh, headache rack for it. That we're gonna put on. And we're gonna put the, this back on it after. The snow's melting. It's plus eight here today, Celsius. Yeah, it's, it's warm, isn't it, buddy? Am I ignoring you? He doesn't like to be ignored. So we'll get that up, put these sides back on it again. Gotta do brakes on it on uh, tomorrow, Monday. Look at the mess, gotta clean that up. Right, buddy? Okay, I'll give you some loving. I'll give you some loving. Smile for the camera, big smile for the camera, big smile. <laughs> Aha! Yeah, it's a little game, let's knock that over. <clears throat> So it's uh, thawing pretty good. <coughs> no oh, temperature change again. So we got a couple things from school the other day. Piano base was about 300 pounds. We got one final cabinet here in the stove from the school. We got all this stuff here from school, piece of piano. It's nice brass on it, we gotta take that apart. It's number one. And uh, get some of the stuff cleaned up here now it's reappearing. Pile of brush, where did that come from now? Haha, uh, look up there. I'm just gonna take out these uh, bottom limbs right here and I cut the tree down. They had to send the tree trimmers in to get the limbs off the tree so I could put the street light right up there where I wanted. <coughs> <coughs> so that worked out pretty good. I just gotta get, get a ladder, 12 foot ladder gut. And, Cut those couple limbs down there away from the power line so I can cut them. And uh, come the spring, should be all ready to, to fall those trees down and get them out of there. So that's coming along as planned. And the SUV, I mentioned in a previous video, I thought it was done for, but it's not. <coughs> What's wrong with it? Oh, look at that. A maritime scrapper on it. What's wrong with it is the linkage cable is loose on it. It has been for a couple months now. <coughs> and that's what was causing it to start wrong. So, got to adjust that cable and it should be fine. All these goodies coming up. A bit slippery down here. So I start loading some of the stuff up, take it in the shop. I'm going in there tonight after supper. And uh, putting the work pictures together. Get them ready to go. Probably make a video of that and post it later this evening. But all this stuff here has got to be... Uh, load up into the trailer and take it to be processed in town where it's going to be a lot easier more convenient this one the deep freeze i was talking about i got a strip down and that one over there is going to be stripped down take them in for storage bins along the wall at the shop and we got to come down here and uh <coughs> you got those lenses are closed I get to do up some tools to take in. Oops, what's walking in here? Yeah, she's so gonna pack up all of her tools this afternoon before you go in. And uh, get to take them in. But we'll probably process what's on his desk. Well, that ain't very smart. There. There's a cover for it somewhere in this mess. There it is. So we'll take these in. We got a brand new uh brand new grinder. We'll take in. Gotta we'll take this drill in and we'll take the impact gun in. These grinders, I'll take them in, but uh that's a mastercraft. Yeah, because I got a new mastercraft, so I got the thing to tighten this up. So we start using this one again. This one here is a Makita. It's an oddball. Piece of solid brass here. Nice clean brass. Take that in sometime. <coughs> so we're going to gather all our tools up here. Oh, good week, sir. Bucket of wire start. Got to take that in. What are these things? Yeah, it's going to take all the stuff in here and start processing it. 
take all those in, throw them in the back of the trailer. Get these buckets separated, get them in. Gotta use the buckets here. We use the buckets to put the tools in. Is that cracked? Yeah, I won't use that to put tools in. But yeah, we gotta uh, start taking tools in. I'm not gonna take anything in tonight or put it in the buckets because I might be down here doing some sorting tonight because I haven't got a lock on the door. Or if I gotta put a padlock on because the door's not, because uh, the frost came out of the ground, the door frame of the shop's uneven. So it's not locking. All it's locking, we just push the door open. <coughs> so we gotta fix that before we bring all our equipment in. But uh, tonight I think I want to bring, and I just threw that bucket on the ground. Don't worry, put it. It wasn't the white one. Ah, oh, I didn't even throw it on the ground. It's over here. So tonight, I'm going to need to bring in this drill. Did you have to check on it? Yeah. And that's the right bed I need right there. So we're going to drill in tonight. We're probably going to need these to work on the door. Or, no, no. We'll need these though. <coughs> and <coughs> I think what else I need to put those, those tables together. Oh, yeah. I can see it in here. Yes, I got my glasses on. It doesn't seem to do too good of a job today. Look for the circular uh, sun. I think I found it. Oh my goodness. There's these lights over here. Oh, I'm gonna need this tonight. It's wonderful. My son was down and uh, took the drill out of its case and knocked everything all over the floor on me. Mine? Yep, yeah, this is mine. There's another one in here that's got a weak handle on it. So I don't really want to use that. So I'm going to the skill saw to cut the lumber. <coughs> and these are aluminum coils, I think. There's good brass, even I think it's just where I cut it off. Yeah, so that's aluminum coil. Put them over there with my uh, nuggets. Now pick up all this stuff that my son dropped on the floor. Ah. Got a lot of people make a mistake and don't fix it right away. Just leaves a bigger job for somebody else to do. All right. So we left this vice here for now. I just leave this whole workbench here for up here. So I need to take a couple of uh, <coughs> I need a couple of garbage uh, a couple of those garbage bins to finish doing what I'm doing in town. But I don't really want to hook the trailer on the uh, SUV tonight just for that. Kind of ridiculous. What I'll do is take sort of bits in with me. And I got to, huh. Yeah, I should have enough tools to do that in there. If not, it, you know, we'll just set in place and tighten up after. We're going to need this in there, tape measure. Just thinking really quick what I need, what I don't need. Oh yeah. Gotta have a hammer. You gotta have an armor. Okay, don't work without that. Alrighty. So that's that. Now I'm gonna show you a hack that I learned with these buckets at some point. Tell you about it very quick, but I'm gonna start doing all the buckets. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's my filthy dirty thing here never comes clean 
I think it's full of ice. So, dump that out. Here we go. Not spring yet. <laughs> Now, <coughs> get all that in there. These are tools I need for tonight. Oh. <coughs> yep. <coughs> I'll put this stuff in the SUV. I'll stay up for now. Okay, somebody's a comedian. See what's on here? <laughs> I think that was my son. It's a off a deep freezer refrigerator. I was in a little scuff this summer and did up my trip vehicle here and he stuck that on there. What a little bugger. He's probably wondering how long it takes before I noticed it. So got that loaded up. Get this out of here. <coughs> Take this time to work on it. <coughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. What a mess. So we'll, uh, hopefully they'll be up putting the street light in. That was done earlier last week. Well, this week. It's Sunday. <coughs> they should be up. This week to put the street light in. And they're putting it in on this side. So we're facing the house and the dog. So it'll shine down that way and over that way the workspace. So this whole area down here will be well lit. So I'm working the outdoor space. Chick coop will be lit up at night. And this whole area here will be nice lit up. Even the lawn will. I gotta take all those cedar trees out of said in previous videos. That's gonna be a summer job. And uh, take the, uh, hey, there's an in wall oven that we picked up in Sussex one night. Sussex, New Brunswick, we went up for supper. And Buddy sent me a message, hey, do you come to Sussex? And I was like, what do I do today? So when we grabbed that, we went and got supper up in Sussex. So, yeah. It's start of a mess here again, get that cleaned up. Yeah, and my little seating here there and moving that because all those seats would come out as I just said. <coughs> so they'll be out in the wide open. Moving them up back. So a nice little spot I get set up for, the, for them. So I gotta take two barrels in. Uh, they say that I wanna load the trailer, hook the trailer up just for, uh, to take two barrels into town. It's kind of ridiculous. I see what you want. Are you missing a toy? Are you missing a toy? Are you missing this? Watch the ball. Watch the ball. <laughs> there you go. Oh! See, he likes the snow here. Want snow? Want snow? He loves snow now for some reason. A good cat. Well, it was half a catch. Is it good? <laughs> Ready? Another one. Woo! Oh, <laughs> you got potential to be a clown. Yeah, you got potential to be a clown. Yes, you do. Alrighty, guys. So we got to, uh, there's a new strut I need for my truck. Get that up and out of the snow where I can find it. Oh, what a mess. Just throwing stuff out of the truck to clean it the other night and uh, taking it down. And end up with that wonderful mess. Yeah, I almost said that word. So after supper, sometime tonight, gotta take that over to about here. 
Oh, okay. You want me to get it from you? You want me to get it from you? Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So I gotta move that pallet over here to the side of the driveway. Probably right about here. Cause we got a 11,500 watt generator, 9,000 continuous we're putting here. And uh, Emmy Power, our power company, our hydro company is coming in. And they're putting an attachment there. So we can uh, hook the generator right up to the meter. So when the power goes out, we just start up the generator and psh, power in the house. There's enough uh, power to run uh, all the lights, the pump, the fridge, the deep freezes, the, wood the kitchen range, and a couple of heaters. So that'll keep us running power, especially extended ones that we sometimes get here. So far this morning we've been lucky, we only had one 50 hour power 58 hour outage. We lost all our food and everything, so. That's not happening again. So I'm debating where to put it there. Or put up the corner of the house up here. Up here. See, it doesn't really matter where I put it for now because the uh, the cord is just unplugged from the generator. So you can move the generator around where you want it. So the cord is long enough, I might just put up there behind the, behind the corner of the house. And build a little uh, shelter for it because it can be underneath the eaves. And uh, that way it's secured, safe. And in case of power outage, which you got a remote control, you just press the remote control in the house and start it up. So we got garbage you got to take down. Just been uh, so busy with everything. I haven't uh, done too much around the house. Again, it piles up, as you can see. Garbage, literally. So, probably make a video tonight, as I said. Starting in the. Uh, Gonna be starting them in there and probably show me finishing them. The benches be nice to get those done, get the uh device mounted so I can start tomorrow on there. Might have a day's delay because we're gonna be doing the brakes on the truck in there and replacing the caliper and maybe the strut. So we'll see what happens. You want to play some more, don't you? Do you want to play some more? What do you guys think? Do you think he wants to play some more? I think he wants to play some more. Where are we getting sneaky now? Looking away like he's done something wrong. Did you do something wrong? Is it my tone of voice that really messes you up? Do you think you're in trouble? Did you do something wrong? Did you do something wrong? Ah, that's <laughs> psych. <laughs> I love my poor dog. And you can tell out there that the good thing about spring is the uh, piles of doggy do come up out of the snow. So, another major cleanup, doggy do cleanup. You wanna clean your mess up over there, buddy? Hey. You want to clean up your mess? What? You want me to clean it? Oh, you psyched me out, you little bugger. Bring it over here. Come here. Let me throw it. Oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? You want to fight? Huh? Big vicious sound. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You want me to have it? I got to have it. I got to get it. I got to get it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Go get it, buddy. <laughs> oh, you want to fight again, do you? You want to fight again? I'll win. I'll fight again. <laughs> hey, where is it? Oh, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Shh, relax. Good boy. He's getting a little rough, aren't you? He's going to get a little rough. Yeah, it can't get rough. Dad loves you. Yeah. All right, that's enough puppy time, enough video. Hope you're all having a great day, and hope you're all blessed with the same weather we're having today here. <coughs> and uh, if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, whatever. And uh, you all take care, and God bless.